All right, guys, what'd you think of the new software? Was it any better? Hopefully it was because the videos take like five times longer to load now. Okay, moving on. What we need to do is we need to finish completing our code for our delete underscore page dot PHP. And right now, since I have TextMate, it's showing me a red flag that I'm missing something, and I definitely am. It's the closing. There it is, closing PHP tag. So we can probably get through this pretty darn quick. Okay, let me move this down a little bit. Put that over to the left. Okay, yada yada yada. This does that. MySQL prep interval redirect. Okay, from the top. So with our ID, nope, that's not how that we declare a variable. MySQL prep and for all our magical errors. Yada yada yada. Get we're gonna index page. Let's go ahead and close that out. And this is to make sure the page exists correctly, not strictly necessary, and it gives some extra security and allows us to use the page's information underscore ID for the redirect. So let's go ahead and create our if statement. If page equals, what was our function we were using? Was it get page by ID or get pages by ID? I think it was get pages by ID. You know, the one where we had our query where we limit one ID. And let's go ahead and execute. Uh, our query. Sorry about that. It's almost midnight again. And this is a very short query because when you're deleting something, we're just deleting it. We don't need a return value. We don't want it to bring back, you know, a portion of it or a string. We just want to delete it from our database completely. Delete from pages where ID equals page index ID single quotations and we don't have to put limit right here but it's good for security it's not gonna hurt so it only deletes one delete one limit to one don't delete the whole database no more than that okay and our result the same variable we've been using this whole time mysql query and then here Let's just grab that, paste that right in there. Nope, don't need that space right there. Let's close that out. Then, um, okay, so if MySQL affected rows is equal to one, Success, successfully deleted, um, let's redirect. To edit underscore info dot php info equals page and we're going to index our variable of page with our information ID field. Now let's go ahead and let me pause this and look at this. Looks good so far. Just got to close it out now. All right, and our else statement, big time showtime. If it does not successfully delete, we will just go ahead and echo whatever you want. Page failed, it did not properly delete, whatever your heart desires. Page did not delete. Close out our P tags. I'm missing what, a double quotation? I am. And we could spit the air back to us as well. Concatenate our closing p tag, our closing HTML p tag. Look at this. 
fails, do we want to redirect? Do we want to have a link that goes back to our main site? I'll just give it a link. A ref. So it's going to let us know that it, it failed, that it failed, as well as echo a link out, letting us know that we'll type in go back to main page or something. Content dot php backslash and that's one too many and we'll just go ahead and call it return to home page main site potato potato look at this it's good and then I'll do another worst case scenario I'll say that the page did not even exist so if the page that we're trying to lead doesn't exist, exist, then we will just redirect back to content.php. So we've got all the angles covered. There's nothing that can happen. Something is going to happen if someone tries to lead something from our database. Our PHP and database will absolutely know what to do. Okay, let me save this. Let me go ahead and bring my closing PHP tag up here a little bit. Let me look at this right here. Let me put this one in one line. And I'm going to save this now. Looks good, except that I have a closing brace in the wrong spot. I'm going to sneeze that. So I'm going to grab this closing brace right here, and we're going to put it underneath or right above our else statement right there because I just counted it and I proofreaded it, and this is legit now. So I'm going to save that. And everything looks good. You can go ahead and keep this down here. If you actually deleted your uh, your footer.php file, you can go ahead and enter it manually. I'm not quite sure why I'm doing this, but if you want to do it this way, close. Remember way back when our variable database, we were talking about constants and whatnot. All right, guys, so I'm going to save it. Um, hopefully, you guys have the correct code, same code as I do. And in the next video, we are going to try to output it into the browser, and let's keep our fingers crossed. All right, guys, good luck with this. We'll see you in the next video.